To Kirkland locals, Park Lane is about as familiar as the songs you'll hear strummed from the front of its cafes. But the street's many business owners. The people that want to come and stroll are not the people that are going to shop. Say their relationship with the city. Do they want to lose these local businesses? Has hit a sour note. I know some of the other businesses feel the same way. You can see their pleas on these flyers. If you don't have the visibility, I mean, shoppers come to shop. And we have larger items, we have furniture items. The Save Park Lane flyers have been taped up on nearly every storefront on this street. Our peak years were the two years prior to uh, leading up to COVID. And since COVID, you know, it's it's not the same. The city of Kirkland is proposing to close Park Lane off to cars and parking full time. Customers weighed in. But it's also people like us who frequent the businesses. I mean, we, we have to now go find a place to park or find out some other way of getting here. I see a lot of pedestrian places in Europe and they're the best parts of the cities. So I'm much, much in favor of it. I like to keep it as it is, it's kind of right balance. City staff say they hope it would provide more outdoor restaurant seating and room for more social distancing for pedestrians, but added. I think we aren't trying to solve a problem or trying to create even more opportunity in these scenarios. Still, these business owners say they've been vocal about not wanting it, but worry they're not being heard. The city hired a consultant who suggested that Park Lane could be used for sidewalk sales of goods for group workout classes and even movie nights. Meantime, those opposing this idea say they worry that losing the parking spots on this street could create even more of a headache for people visiting this area. Reporting live from Park Lane, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.